What is 8.8 minus 8.11? Feed it into a calculator and pop comes the answer. Now, ask your favorite AI models instead and chances are most will be proven wrong. We tested the simple subtraction task on a range of popular AI models and the results were everything from surprising to funny. Let's go to the most popular one, which is ChatGPT. We put this question up to ChatGPT, which is now running on the latest GPT-5 and the answer was wrong. As per ChatGPT, 8.8 .8 minus 8.11 equals minus 0.31. That's negative because as per chat GPT, 8.11 is larger than 8.8. .8. Next, we tried perplexity. The question remains the same and the answer was again grossly wrong. It said the result of 8.8 .8 minus 8.11 is minus 0.31. This is because 8.8 .8 is less than 8.11. So, subtracting 8.11 from 8.8 .8 .8 yields a negative result. Moving on to Google's powerful AI tool, Gemini. Even Gemini Flash answered incorrectly and said the answer is minus 0.31. Coming to Grok, the only AI model in our selected four that provided the correct answer in the first go was XAI's Grok. It aligned the decimals, subtracted the decimal parts first and then the integer. As per Grok, final answer is 0.69, which is the right answer. Now the question arises, why are AI models like ChatGPT, Perplexity and Gemini failing at simple math? The main reason lies in the training data. Most of the large language models like ChatGPT and Gemini are trained on language. Even the latest versions are handling pictures and videos as well. But their math training is much less. They are not intended for precise numerical calculations. They predict rather than compute. They are also likely to surf the web for correct answers, sadly picking the wrong ones instead. The reasoning behind such training might be that writing an article and poem will take a person much longer and that's where AIs can step in and cut short the manual effort. But when it comes to math, you'd rather use a calculator app because the effort of feeding the query is the same. So yes, as much as you like to use large language models like ChatGPT and Gemini for language, when it comes to even simple math, take their word with a pinch of salt and rely on a good calculator instead. We're probably still a good couple of years away from AI mastering math. And stay tuned to NDTV Profit for more such interesting information.